if I if I look back at uh, kind of what we're infamous for, which is uh, you know making characters like Voss and making characters like Pagan Man and, and making really great enemies that are more complex than just I'm bad. It's complex, it's alchemy, it's not science. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the father knows deeply of sin. So John Seed is the herald in charge of the, uh, the Holland Valley. Uh, that's the region where the, the cult focuses mostly on uh, grabbing whatever they need uh, for the uh, collapse, to prepare for the collapse. So they're taking the food, they're taking the goods, they're even taking people against their will. John Seed is kind of the face of the project at Eden's Gate. He's, he's almost like in charge of PR. In a sense, he's probably the most tormented and psychotic one. Uh, he was the cute kid, he was the last one. Uh, when they moved from foster homes to foster homes, he might have gone through some abuse that kind of messed him up. Joseph Seed, the, 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 the leader of the cult, before he even became uh, the leader of the cult, who kind of brought him back on track. Yes, I am a sinner. Yes, I wish to be unburdened. Yes, I must be Redeemed. John doesn't, I think, know if the father is accurate, 100%. But he's somebody who's experienced great trauma in his life, and he's somebody who's overcome that, and he almost feels like he's a superman, because everything that could have been visited on him was, and he survived it. John is preaching this, just say yes, say yes to everything, live life, just say yes to everything. and. The father understands that that can be powerful in terms of John's ability to go out because every organization, every group needs a face who's going to be able to go out and, and say it's going to be okay, come with us. But he also understands that that can be toxic and too potent. And what's really powerful about that is that you watch as an older brother and a younger brother, younger brother is given trust to go do a job and the older brother, the father figure, comes in and says, you're not doing it right. And he's exposing John's sin, which is John loves himself more. This one shall reach the atonement. All the gates of Eden shall be shut to you, John. Yes, Joseph. Uh, in the game, there is a video at some point with, which is uh, something that they advertise, which is the power of yes. And how being able to say yes would like uh, free you from uh, any constraints. He's pushing the voice of the father even further than the father would be doing. Uh, so he's, he needs to be reined back in. When he's starting to lose it, Joseph comes in, reminds him that he needs to keep the boundaries there. It informs the entire relationship between them, but it also shows that underneath everything is not perfect. You see it in John's eyes that the, he, he begrudges being chided by the, the father. And he looks at the player and says, why are you so special? Why does he give a shit about you? And then he says, well, I'll find out. I'll crack you open and I'll find out what's inside. And that's haunting. He will confess every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. John Seed, I think, is scary because he wants to impress his, uh, his uh, older brother. So that makes him kind of a, a dangerous man. And uh, when he's facing the threat that the player is bringing to uh, his region, then he kind of loses it because that, that's gonna make him look bad uh, to the eyes of his uh, of Joseph Seed. Not this one. This one's not clean. The goal for us was to make a really potent character in John who attacks the world or explores the world in a very specific way. If you're building a villain with the complexity of John, one of the really interesting things about somebody who has nothing to lose is that you can't bargain with him. John has been through everything. There's nothing that you can do to this guy. There's no, nothing surprises him. And as a result, uh, it's very difficult to, to go around him, to go through him. He's just there. And he, he almost knows everything the player is going to do. And so I think that that creates a level of complexity in terms of making a great villain, somebody who does bad stuff, but somebody who also says, well, you do bad stuff too. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins and you will be offered a 
atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate.